In this video, we're going to import Google Analytics data into Airtable. To do that, we're going to use the free Data Fetcher Airtable app, which you can install from the Airtable app marketplace. After you've installed it, you'll need to sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign in to your existing account. After you've signed in, click Create Your First Request and then select Google Analytics for the application. After doing that, click New Google Analytics Connection and select the Google Analytics account you want to pull in data from. On the next screen, make sure you enable this checkbox for view and manage your Google Analytics data. If you don't enable this, we won't be able to access the data. Then click Continue. Then add a name for your request, like Fetch GA Metrics. Then click Save and Continue. For account, select the Google Analytics account you want to pull in data from. Do the same for property and view. Now these correspond to the view, property and account that you'd see in the Google Analytics dashboard. Then select the date range you want to pull in data from, for example, last week. And then select the fields. So these are the different fields that are available in Google Analytics. So I'm going to select users, new users and sessions. Now if we pull in this data like we've set up here, we're just going to get the totals for last week. But I want to split it out by the different days. So for split by, I'm going to select date. We can optionally add some filters. Um, for example, we could only pull in days that have more than 100 users, but I'm going to leave that off for now. Then select the output table and view you want to import the GA data into. And click Save and Run. So this will connect to Google Analytics and then the response field mapping will open. So this is where we can see kind of a preview of the data we're going to pull in. And for each of the different fields, we can select either an existing field we want to use to import that data into or a new field. And you can see we've got the field types here as well. So we've got a date field for the date and then number fields. Um, so I'm going to leave it with all the suggested ones and then click Save and Run. Now Data Fetcher is going to create those four fields and then connect to Google Analytics again and pull in the data. We can toggle this option here to hide this message in the future and then click Show Output Table and we can see the Google Analytics data has been pulled in. Finally, back in Data Fetcher, I'm going to schedule this to run once a week. So I'm going to select Repeat Every Day. I'm going to turn off the other weekdays and just pull it in on Monday. I'm going to select a time and then click Save. So in order to do this scheduling, you'll need a Pro Data Fetcher account and once you've set that up, it's going to pull in GA data on the schedule that you selected.